Good evening from the bird's nest in Prescott, Wisconsin. We've had a near perfect month of September, but of course it's always perfect inside the gymnasium. Uh, Ellsworth has the court now and is warming up. This is a rivalry. We have the Prescott Cardinals and the Ellsworth Panthers. Uh, no bigger rival in the middle border than Ellsworth Prescott at any contest. If it's cross country, baseball, volleyball, basketball, you better come ready to play and it's usually a good game, very competitive. I didn't get a chance to get on the internet today to see Ellsworth's record. Uh, and they are 500 at 12 and 12. Prescott is 11 and 5 and coming off a 10 uh, match win at Abbotsford and uh, defeated some good teams and are moving forward with their very experienced squad. Uh, we have uh, Dan Huffman and Jim Selt. They're uh, regulars here in Prescott for officiating. And uh, we're getting set, I believe, for the national anthem. I believe Baldwin is in first place. I forgot to look today in the paper. I looked to see who played who. I wish I'd have brought the newspaper with. I believe Baldwin is in first place uh, in the league. Megan Richter will be singing the national anthem. Very good rendition of the national anthem by senior Megan Richter. Megan, a member of the volleyball team as a senior and doubles as a singer, excellent voice, does a very good job with our national anthem. Starting lineups for Ellsworth. And uh, number no. six, Carly Gutting, they announced as number two. She's six on the floor. Brenna LaBaum. And that's a very common name in Ellsworth. Ava Burkle. And Malia Peterson. And number 11, Addie Snyder. And number 12, Delaney Johnson. And number 18, Maya Peterson. Introducing the starting lineup for the Cardinals of Prescott. Number one, a senior, Kiana Severson. Kiana Severson, a senior. Marissa Colgan. And wow, can she get after the ball. 
Lila Postema, a senior. And Natalie Patek, a six foot junior. And Reese Patek, a six foot one senior. And a five foot 11 Auburn Eninga. And Katressa Severson, a senior. So, Four seniors in the starting lineup, along with junior Auburn Eninga and junior Marissa Colgan, junior Natalie Patak. Okay, and it looks like uh, Ellsworth. Well, we don't have the ball out here yet. Mr. Huffman has the ball. And uh, Heather Hove, our technician, is, oh, excuse me, Secret Agent Larry M is our technician. Heather Hove just does the work. <laughs> okay. Both sides ready to go as uh, the libero checks in, number one, Kiana Severson, and uh, out goes Lila Postema. And Ellsworth gets the serve. And it'll be number six. Brenna Laban on the serve. 0-0, zero, zero, just getting started tonight. PC TV. And it goes off. Addie Snyder out of bounds. Cardinals point, and Cardinals get to serve. And it'll be number 13, Katressa Severson, to start out the serving. The last time I watched her, she did an excellent job serving. And uh, we've got a antenna out of alignment getting adjusted by Mr. Huffman. And uh, Katressa ready to serve. Nice serve. Wow. <laughs> Ava Burkle couldn't handle it, went out of bounds. 2 nothing. Prescott. And there is no time. It's uh, sets. Oh, another good serve, but a nice save by Ellsworth. Kogan to Patek, knocked over by Patek. Katressa, Severson to Severson. And then over by Natalie Patak. Oh! And a nice play by Delaney Johnson. And it goes off of Auburn Eninga. 2 1, Cardinals lead. A dig, a set. Oh my. And a nice play by Natalie Patak to score for Prescott. 3 1 Prescott, Reese Patak serving. She serves in the left corner. Little unusual. Just over the net, returned by the Panthers. And uh, we've got a two hit call on Prescott. Gives Ellsworth the ball. And the libero, Carly Gutting, will serve. Oh my, Natalie Patak with a spike and point for Prescott. 4-2, Prescott over Ellsworth. And uh, and they're taking the point away. 
And they're saying that uh, Prescott was over. Oh, it hit the antenna. Oh, okay. It hit the antenna, and it was called possibly by the line judge. I didn't see it. I didn't see it, but I haven't cleaned my glasses yet this afternoon, so it could have happened. Oh, my. Excellent block. I believe that Prescott just got Peterson. I believe the Peterson girls, Malaya and Maya, blocked that. Oh, maybe it was Ava Brookshaw. 4-3 Ellsworth lead. As Carla Gutting serves it out of bounds, it would be Prescott ball. And now Auburn and Inga gets the opportunity to serve. 4-4, four, four. first set. Good serve by Auburn. Out. Hammered a little too hard by Addie Snyder. 5-4, Prescott lead. And a nice play by Ava Burkle to tie it up at 5-5. And the ball went all the way to Highway 10. And here it comes back now. Peterson serving for Ellsworth. Malia Peterson. Nice serve. Just over the net. 6-5 Ellsworth lead. I was looking at the Prescott. Yeah. <laughs> Peterson to serve, Patak to Severson. Leah French on the floor now. Oh, nice block. Oh, my. And uh, just got it in. Six six, tie game. Natalie Patak, a junior, getting ready to serve. And wow, nice drill. Bump set. And uh, a lot of action at the net. I thought we had uh, someone touch the net, but it's a play on. And wow, Natalie Patak with just a drill. Spikes that ball. It gets caromed out of bounds, 7-6 Cardinal lead. Natalie Patak to serve. And she served it just out of bounds. Barely out of bounds. Number 11, Eddie Snyder to serve for Ellsworth. Seven all. And Severson to Severson. Pushed over by Reese Patak. And a smart play by Malia Peterson as she just touches it over the net. 8-7 Ellsworth lead. Second serve by Snyder is up. Oh, out. And we've got a tie game, 8-8. Eight, eight. Can this continue? And we have a substitution. As I said earlier, Marissa Colgan is a very good volleyball player. Fun to watch. 
And uh, a good server, good setter. Oh, and a little too hard by Reese. So we have Colgan, Natalie Patak, Kiana Severson, Reese Patak, uh, Lila Postuma, and Catressa Severson on the floor for Prescott now. Oh, my. And Reese Patak with the spike. Some of the boys are wearing muscle shirts tonight. I looked in the Prescott crowd. I was surprised to see. I was trying to figure out whose set of shoulders are those. Oh. What a play. Oh! Oh! Oh my! The ball was hit above the crowd. Girls in the seventh row were ducking their head and had hit an obstruction and come back to the center of the floor. As long as it's hit on your side, you can keep playing it. Oh, and a nice play by Delaney Johnson to tie it at 10 10. Brenna Laban to serve for Ellsworth and gets a good serve over the net. And uh, we've got a, a, a lift called Cardinals Ball. Katressa Severson to serve. Good serve. Oh, my. That young lady, Malia Peterson, is strong. She can hammer it. Delaney Johnson to serve, a junior for the Panthers. 11-11, tie a score. And uh, Reese... Patak, no, that was Natalie. Sister Natalie hammers it over the net. And Leah French comes on the floor for Marissa Colgan. So we have the two Seversons, two Pataks. Uh, oh, Leah French put a little French spin on that one. 13-11, Prescott. Reese to serve. The bump. The tip. Oh, my. Look at the effort by the Ellsworth Panthers. Just love to see that type of effort. Out of bounds, though, off Ellsworth. We've got a timeout, Ellsworth. Timeout on the floor. With the score, Prescott 14, Ellsworth 11. And uh, do, we go to, do we go to station break here? Is it station break? I don't talk now. Oh, I, oh, I could keep talking. No, I, I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it. I see it's station break. Where did I put it? Right here. Did you read the disclaimer? Uh, no, but good evening. This is PCTV, Prescott Cable TV, and Prescott Cardinal TV streaming on YouTube for a couple of years now. Remember, the opinions expressed in our broadcast, especially my opinion, are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views, beliefs, or positions of PCTV. Prescott School District, their affiliates or employees. Okay, and uh, one time out by Ellsworth. 14-11 Prescott lead, and uh, we have Reese Patak to serve, and uh, good serve. Oh! Natalie Patak 
And I believe that was uh, Enenga with a dual block to send it away. 15-11, attack to serve. Good serve. Oh. And Maya Peterson had the right idea, just needed a little, little more muscle into it. 16-11, Reese Patak to serve. This is her third serve. Oh my, nice play by Addie Snyder. And uh, Burkle is leaving and Ava Brookshaw comes back on the floor. We have Laban. Carly Gutting is serving, and uh, oh my, we couldn't get it back over. 16 13 Ellsworth. Carly Gutting will serve again. And that's two in a row. So I started to say we have Addie Snyder, Ava Brookshaw, Malia Peterson. Oh, Carly hit it into the net. We had a net serve. Delaney Johnson. On the floor, okay. Serving for Prescott is Auburn Aninga. We've got a block, a set, a bump. Oh, out of bounds. It was a great block, but it went out of bounds. 18-14 Prescott as Aninga will serve again. Auburn second serve the set. Oh my. Touched and out of bounds. And it'll be Ellsworth serve. Kenna Severson come in. So we have the two Pataks, the two Seversons, Leah French and Lila Postuma on the floor. Serving is number nine. Oh. Malia Peterson, and it goes out of play. Prescott ball. Serving is so important. The bigger the game, the bigger the serve becomes. And Natalie Patak is serving. Good hustle by the Panthers. Oh! Peterson. Oh! Uh, didn't quite get it over Addie Snyder into the net. 2015 Prescott as Natalie Patak will serve again. And we have a carry called on Ellsworth. And Ellsworth takes their second and last time out, trailing 21-15. Booster Club members, Cerna House Chevrolet, over 89 years of service to Prescott. And uh, they're great guys to deal with. Uh, Croy Insurance Agency, First National Bank of River Falls and Prescott. Hard Hands and Mind Child Care. Great place to bring your child if they're preschool. Helmer Printing in Ellsworth, Wisconsin. Prescott Family Dental, where they take good care of you. I go there. I love Dr. Hillary. Uh, Patek's IGA, serving Prescott since 1912. And if you need it, they have it. PC Bonkers, run by Secret Agent Larry M. River City Stitch, they provide the hats for PC TV. And Wisconsin Credit Union as Natalie gets ready to serve up and over. 
And it was out of bounds. It hit the side of the post. 22-15. Prescott's up. And it's Natalie to serve, her third in a row. Oh, my. Two Ellsworth girls looked at it. They looked like, who's going to take it? And we have a substitution. Annika Hall comes in. So we have Hall, Gutting, Johnson, Peterson, Brookshaw, and Laban on the floor for Ellsworth as Natalie serves it. That looked like it. Oh, my. Catressa almost slipped one by. Oh, nice try. Out of bounds. It looked like uh, Malia Peterson. Game point coming. Malia Peterson looked like she was going to sneak one in, but it went out of bounds. 24-15 game point. Natalie Patak gets returned by Ellsworth. And Leah French nails one to end the game. First set, 25 15. Prescott. Well, I started to talk about the broad I looked down at the section, I saw the broad shoulders, and I saw uh, the Swiss Army knife standing there with a muscle shirt on. Of course, everybody knows the Swiss Army knife is uh, Barrett Temmers. Barrett plays safety and uh, is a, in my, my league, a first team all conference safety. He has had, I believe, eight interceptions this year in six games. The football team is four and two. And I have never seen a safety come up and more make, make more tackles at the line of scrimmage than Barrett Temmers. He's just a lot of fun to watch. Oh, and I see in the stands we also have the, the good teammate, Mason Schumer. Plays in the line. He's one of the guys that has to do the dirty work. Our line in our victories has been the difference. Charlie Roll, Will Roll, Mason Schumer, uh, Will Bastion, and uh, David Regnier. And if these guys have a good game tomorrow night, it'll probably be a situation where uh, Prescott will be able to play with Baldwin. But Baldwin is very talented, and uh, Prescott is the underdog in tomorrow night's game. So, uh, are we are we still on? Okay, and Baldwin Woodville defeated Prescott. They're three and one. Prescott's two and one. Central's two and one. Amory's two and one. We defeated Amory Tuesday night. Osceola one and one. Altoona one and two. Ellsworth zero oh and one. Somerset zero oh and three. And uh, we've only got a couple weeks left the season. They're going to have to get those games in. Prescott serve, second set. And uh, if somebody has a score on that Packer game, please text it to me. Okay, Catressa serves, over, set, and the spike. Oh, it looked like it was going out. And uh, they're calling a lift on the Cardinals. 
It looked like it was going out. Oh, is this from? Larry. Thank you, Larry. Secret agent Larry M is taking care of his crew. A very good serve by Brenna Laban. It return goes out of play, and it's uh, two nothing Ellsworth as Brenna serves again. Wow, just over the net. Reese Patak with the behind the the head. Oh, and it goes off of Kiana Severson. 3-0 Ellsworth as the Panthers are starting out. Very positive note. Laban to serve. Too hard. Sitting in front of our table here for PCTV is the all-conference JV Center for Ellsworth in uh, Wiley Meyer watching the game cheering on his Ellsworth schoolmates as Reese Patak serves and uh, Katressa no Kiana Severson set it up for Reese, oh nice block, but it's out of bounds. And uh, was it was it out? It looked like it was in. And the serve is short, and uh, a very humble Delaney Johnson says it's my bad to the Ellsworth teammates. Serving for Prescott is Auburn and Ninga. 4-2, Ellsworth lead. Oh, good serve by Auburn. And Lila Postema made him pay. As the coaches would say, use that. Because it was a gimme for Lila. 4-3. Auburn on the serve. And oh, Lila didn't quite get it over. On the return... A soft spike, a set. Boy, Leah French can really pound that volleyball. Oh! <laughs> Natalie Patak had the golden touch on that one as it drops in. 4-4 tie ball game. Cardinals and the Ellsworth Panthers. Auburn and Nanga to serve again. Good serve. Oh, my. Just drops it in there, Auburn. If uh, she was uh, pitching in professional baseball, they'd call it the cutter. Oh, out of bounds. And caught in the stands. I don't know if it was uh, Kyle Colgan or Nick Brellington who had the good hands. 6-4. Auburn has had four serves in a row that are positive and uh, gets it over again. The set out and a communication problem. The Ellsworth girls were looking at each other and finally somebody went to return it, but it went out of bounds. 7-4. Auburn's fifth serve. Oh, my. And that one. And we need a timeout. 8-4 as Auburn has scored six points in a row. Prescott up. 8-4. Booster Club members, Cerna House Chevrolet, over 89 years of service to Prescott, Croy Insurance Agency, First National Bank of River Falls at Prescott, 
Heart, Hands, and Mind Child Care, Helmer Printing in Ellsworth, Prescott Family Dental, Patax, IGA, serving Prescott since 1912, over 100 years. PC Bonkers, River City Stitch, and Wisconsin Credit Union, inspiring better. 8-4, Auburn and Inga to serve, and gets it over the set, the spike. Oh, and it was too hard. Addie Snyder hammered one, and it was a little too hard. 9-4, as Auburn has her sixth. Oh, and that goes out of bounds, and Auburn is serving a hot ball. 10-4. Oh my, 11-4. And is that eight in a row? Or nine in a row that Auburn has served. And uh, keep it going, Auburn. Oh my. The serve skiffed off to Carly Gutting, out of play. 10 in a row. Unofficially that I have serves by Auburn Aninga, 12-4 Prescott. And uh, oh my, that Natalie Patak is as cool as the other side of the pillow, defending two plays at the net. Right hand, left hand, she can handle it. 13-4, Auburn with her 11th serve. And Carly Gutting with a nice return down the left side to stop Eninga's hot serving. 13-5, Cardinals. And like baseball, who makes the big play on defense is the first to bat. Gutting will serve. A good serve, a set, oh. Katressa Severson set it, but it was just mistimed by Natalie Patak as Carly Gutting goes to serve again. 13-6, Prescott lead. Patak to Severson to Patak. Uh-oh, oh my. Leah French. Above the net. 14-6. And Reese Patak now serving. And we have a out of alignment on out of alignment on Ellsworth. And uh, Mr. Huffman is explaining that uh, 6 and 11 are in the wrong spot. Prescott Point, 15-6. Reese Patak to serve. And, uh, oh, two girls called it for Ellsworth, and it landed off of them 16-6. Cardinals lead. Reese Patak to serve. Oh, and a nice play by Ava Brookshaw. But let me tell you about the Patak girls. They're not only good volleyball players, they're class girls. They're very mature. Uh, they're very well spoken, and I can see why not only Reese is going on to play college volleyball, but Natalie also will be going on to play somewhere. Out of served out of bounds, and uh, 
Malia Peterson says, my fault. The girls come to encourage her, and she said, my fault. On the serve, it went awry. Prescott point. So we have the two Pataks, the two Seversons, Postuma, Lila Postuma, and Marissa Kogan serving. Oh, Reese Patak with a spike goes off an Ellsworth player and into the bleachers, 18-8. Marissa Kogan to serve again. Good serve. The set. Oh, and that was done by, I believe, Katressa Severson just tipped it over the net, and we get a timeout. Ellsworth, 19-8, Prescott lead, and this is Ellsworth's second timeout. Well, the cross-country team ran last week at... Roy Groyak Invitational in Minnesota. Uh, and I was looking for Mr. Phillips to send me some information on the cross country team so I can give him a little blurb. And uh, yes, here we are. And uh, he said going over to the Griak Invitational was awesome. Uh, oh, he said he'll drop me a line tomorrow as Marissa Kogan serves an ace. I don't see anyone stomping, but they served an ace. Marissa to serve again. And, uh, oh my, another one by Marissa. And uh, we've got a substitution. Number 15 is coming in, Annika Hall, for the Panthers. Oh, my. And a win awry out of play, 22-8 Prescott. So if you're listening to W... KDA, I'll be talking about the football game tomorrow, and I'll be telling you about the cross country team as a great save by Colgan, and Patek finishes it off 23 8. Brookshaw, Laban, Peterson, Hall on the floor. Oh my. Oh my. Katressa Severson set that up perfect, and we have match point coming. Set it up perfect for Riz Patak to get the kill. 24 8. Kogan with the serve. Oh. And we had a touch. Snyder to serve. Positive play for Ellsworth, 24-9. And I believe it's six out of seven times that the team that is ahead, Addie Snyder with the good serve, six out of seven times the team that is ahead wins the game on defense six out of seven times instead of on offense. And that's the ball game as Reese Patak hammers one home off a setup by Natalie Patak and it ended up 25-10 Prescott win.
Well, the football game tomorrow night is a special game because Prescott's the underdog. They have to win uh, to stay in playoff contention. And Baldwin features the best quarterback, not only in the conference, but statistically in the state, in Cal Smith. A very good athlete. Uh, football, basketball, baseball. Some say baseball's his best sport. And then they have Gavin Sell. Uh, it's about 6'3", junior. And... Uh, oh, my. <laughs> so it's uh, Somerset 13, Central 12. Somerset won the first game. And Somerset is in the bottom of the league. They're 0-3, and Central's 2-1, and, and Somerset won the first set tonight and is leading in the second set. But back to football, Gavin Sell is the leading receiver in the conference, and Cal Smith is the leading quarterback. And uh, they come into town. They have this Johansson at fullback, middle linebacker, and uh, he's quite a load. Gets a lot of tackles for Baldwin. But the key to Baldwin is uh, their line. They have nine linemen that they rotate. They don't have to keep five guys in the game all the time. They rotate their people. Well, we have one minute to go, and we start the third set. Teams always used to switch. At the end of a set, they'd have to pick up all their gear and switch. When COVID came, maybe one of the few positive things that happened, we don't switch anymore. You stay on one side. Now, it, it could be something uh, where some gyms, the floor isn't as equal on one side as it is on the other. But nowadays, with modern gyms, it's pretty much the same all over. Oh, my. And Brenna Laban gets Ellsworth on the board with her first serve. Uh, we have Kiana Severson, Marissa Kogan, Natalie Patak, Reese Patak, Megan Richter. A little too hard, run out of bounds. And Katressa Severson on the floor for Ellsworth. We have Maya Peterson. We have Malia Peterson. Uh, oh, off of Ava Brookshaw. So we have the Peterson girls, Ava Brookshaw, Delena Johnson, Delaney Johnson, uh, and uh, I, Severson to serve again. 1-1 one, one is the score. Oh, off the light. Oh, that's four times, isn't it? <laughs> I'll have to go back and take my math class. I thought Ellsworth hit it four times. And uh, I thought Ellsworth touched the ball before it come over the net. She clearly, clearly touched the ball before it come over the net. Okay, serving here is Delaney Johnson, a junior for the Panthers. 2-2 Two is the score. Ellsworth, Prescott. Third set, Prescott leads 2-0. Severson sets it up. Natalie Patek, oh, nice play by the Panthers. My, Megan Richter with a good return, but Ellsworth played it well. Oh, nice timing. Reese Patak with good timing. Let me tell you that Brenna Laban returned some really tough shots. 
for the Panthers, but a set and a spike by Reese Patak ended the rally. Patak to serve and slips one for an ace. 4-2 Prescott. Now, being in a gym and having scoreboards on each end, what a blessing. I officiate football as Patak serves again, and it goes uh, out of bounds. I officiate football, and when you're on these fields, like not to name anybody any school's field, but Duran's, Hudson's, where the scoreboard is on the side facing the fans. It's fan friendly. Reese for a third serve. Set and the return. Natalie, oh, look at that play by Richter. And we've got a carry. We've got a carry. She lifted it. They called it two, but it was a lift. Fourth serve for Patak, it's 6-2. But these scoreboards at a football field, I'm talking football now, that face the fans, the players have a hard time knowing the time. Oh, nice play. Nice play by Delaney Johnson. Stops the rally, 6-3. Prescott. So if you're a referee, you're used to looking down at the end of the field, the score clock. But here you have to turn your head and look at the side. A little too hard by Carly Gutting. And Megan Richter will be serving. 7-3 Cardinals. So it's it, it, whoever put that scoreboard on the side never officiated and never played the game because you want the scoreboards on the end on a football field. Back to volleyball, 8-3 Cardinals. Megan Richter serving. Oh, and hammered out of play by Addie Snyder. Nine three, Richter to serve. The bump, the set. <laughs> Leah French just hammers that ball. And uh, that went into the crowd. I don't know if the ball's gonna return. Number three, Taylor Peterson, a senior, is on the floor now for Prescott. Richter, her fourth serve, very good. Set. Oh, oh, and it's a good try, I believe, by French, or was it Severson, to keep it alive. So we have the two Pataks, French, the two Seversons and Lila Postema as the serve was by M Malia Peterson. 10-5, Prescott lead. Malia Peterson to serve, second time. The set and Lila, too soft. She needs to hammer that. Severson, and a little difficult for Natalie to handle. 10-6 cards. Peterson to serve so. Kiana Severson tried to set it, it went awry. Wow, 
Great save and a serve. Look, excellent volley here. Both teams. Oh, and just a little touch, Addy Snyder. And we've got a timeout. Timeout Prescott as Coach Budworth wants to get things straightened out here. 10-8 Prescott lead over Ellsworth. We're in the third set, 2-1. But I want to talk about this golf team now. Now, we graduated the golf team. They were runner-up four years ago. Then they were three-time state champions. Now this is the fifth year. And, and Coach Soleil and Coach Ryder know how to co teach and coach golf as this group won the regional. They won the conference Monday. Now they won the regional. But uh, Layla Soleil had a 77. She was second. Gabby Matzik, 80, was fourth. Jeannie Roll was 81 for fifth. Macy Ryder was 87 for eighth. And Lydia Farron, 89th. And tied for ninth with a score of 89. Wow. Oh, and just a little short, Eddie Snyder. 11 8 as Prescott stops the rally. Okay, now. Four players shot their best rounds of their career for the opposing teams in the conference meet today. And we still defeated them and won first to go on to the sectional. Oh, Kiana Severson dove on the floor, tried to save it, it went out of play. So congratulations to Coach Slate, Coach Ryder, and the girls' golf team as they won the conference and the regional, and I believe, are they all underclassmen? Snyder to serve. Natalie to Reese. And uh, French gets it over. Good save. Good set. French gets it over again. What a volley we have here. And Malia Peterson snuck one over. 11-10. Addie Snyder to serve. It's the third one as they've scored two in a row. Good serve. And we had a lift. Taylor Peterson and Ava Brookshaw both had a hand in the play, but they carried it. So we have uh, Reese Patak, Lila Postuma, Marissa Kogan serving. Oh! What a play by Marissa, and what a hammer by Reese Patak, goes off an Ellsworth player, out of bounds, Prescott point, 12-11 Prescott, as uh, Ava Burkle comes in. I'm sure she's related to Tony Burkle, I know Tony, Phil from Ellsworth, Sister Mary, who married Gary Bear, Oh my, that Reese Patak can get up there. Good serve by Ava Burkle, but hammered by Patak. Kiana Severson serving. And a good stop by Megan Richter up. Oh. And Brenna Laban had a nice return, point Ellsworth, and now Laban is going to serve. And it just catches the corner. She served it into the coffin corner. 13-13, we have a tie score here. And 
it brings the student section to their feet for both schools. Oh. And Brenna says it's my fault. One thing about athletics, it's a very humbling experience to be in athletics. Catressa to serve over the net. Oh, oh, Malia Peterson made a great play, but Reese Patak made a greater play. Catressa to serve, it's over. The set, the soft return, and it's set up for Reese Patak. Tried to place it in between. The set. Oh! Oh! Pass the hammer. From one side of the floor, Reese Patak, the hammer goes over to the other side to Natalie. 16 13 Cardinals lead. And a little short. After you eat that raisin bran in the morning, you want to have an orange that gives you a little extra oomph for athletics. And it's a little too hard as Taylor Peterson served for Ellsworth Prescott ball with Reese Patak serving, 17-14. Third set, Prescott leads 2-0. Yes, we reported that Somerset won the first set against Central and uh, led in the second. And, oh my. Reese Patak had the stride of a half miler running for that ball. And we have an exchange. New player, Ava Burkle, leaves and... Uh, I believe Brenna Laban comes in. Carly Gutting serves. Set by Catressa. And uh, Natalie Patek still has that, uh, it's not a ball peen hammer. It's like a maul when she hammers it. 18-15, Megan Richter to serve. Good serve. As I said, Megan sang the national anthem. Oh, my. <clears throat> and I believe that was Taylor Peterson that snuck that one by the Cardinals for a Panther point. But I was going to say, finish, let me finish. The, Megan Richter sang the National Anthem last year, did a great job, and, of course, this year did a very good job. And uh, Peterson, no, that was served by Malia Yes, Peterson, Malia Peterson served that one and uh, got a point for the Panthers. And Malia serves again. And she didn't have her orange for breakfast with a raisin bran either. Need a little more oomph to get that over the net. 1917, Cardinals lead. Natalie Patak to serve. Set. The return, oh, didn't hit it square. Ava Brookshaw tried to get it over, but didn't. Ava, a senior, and plays basketball. And uh, 2017, Natalie to serve. Wow, good serve. Set, oh my, and a good block. Brenna Laban went to put it over the net, but it was blocked by French and Postuma. 21-17, Cardinals lead. Third set. And uh, I uh, don't know exactly what band plays this song. I thought maybe it was the Love Shack, but I guess not. Members, Booster Club members, Cerner House Chevrolet, 89 years of service to Prescott, Croy Insurance Agency, 
First National Bank of River Falls and Prescott, Hard Hands and Mind Child Care, Helmer Printing in Ellsworth, Wisconsin, Prescott Family Dental, Dr. Hillary and her fine staff. I get my teeth cleaned by uh, Mrs. Roll, and she does an excellent job. Patax, IGA, serving Prescott since 1912. PC Bonkers, River City Stitch, Wisconsin Credit Union, inspiring better. Great ladies here in town working for Wisconsin. Oh, and Brenna Laban tried to get the Dairy Queen twist on it down the left sideline, but it went awry out of bounds. Natalie Patak to serve her fourth serve and kind of a whale hump serve over the net. Set and Lila, Lila Postuma tipped it over where no one was. Natalie to serve, 23-17, and this is her fifth serve, I believe. We had a timeout in between while I read the sponsors. And we've got another timeout taken. Kayla Klecker trying to get the official's attention, taking a timeout. So tomorrow night on the radio, KDW. KDWA, uh, I'll be talking about the golf team again, cross country team, and of course this volleyball team that on the season, our record is uh, 22 and eight. And uh, we have match point coming from Natalie Patak uh, the game started about an hour ago, a little after 7 o'clock, and it is done in an hour. As the ball went awry, Natalie Patak served the winning score 25-17 and uh, moves the Cardinals to 23-8. And, eight. and uh, a very hard-working Ellsworth team goes down by scores of 25-15, 25-10, 25-17 as uh, the Prescott Cardinals win and uh, celebrate by Cool and the Gang, is it? Yep, celebrate. Uh, We want to thank our sponsors. We want to thank our listeners. Uh, you can catch the game on uh, cable TV, PC TV, channel 18, if you have Xfinity in town. Uh, this is Fred Booth for Larry Hove, cameraman, uh, stats lady Heather Hove, and Larry M., who always does a great job in organizing and setting up the equipment. This is Fred Booth signing off. We'll see you, I believe, next Thursday. We have a ball game in town. Oh, and tomorrow, Friday for football, we have Chris Hove, PCTV, announcing the football game. And, of course, the Prescott underdogs Prescott's always the underdog in football. They'll be the underdog this week, next week in Ellsworth, the week after against Rice Lake. Uh, they are, it's Prescott against the world when it comes to football. So signing off, uh, have a good evening and listen to PCTV. Thank you.